There are bowls and dishes that radiate an inner beauty as time passes. They are created by human hands and in return restores life. They are the brassware of Ansang. Master Kim Soo Young insists on using technology that has been passed down in his family for three generations. Today, we will learn about his philosophy and persistence. Ansong, Gyeonggi-do Province. This is where the tradition of Ansong Machum brassware was born. The bowls made by the artisans were so quaint that people were very satisfied with the brassware made in Ansong. Hence the term Ansong Machum, which means a perfect fit. <laughs> This man is Master Brassmaker Kim Soo Young, who is continuing the traditions and fame of Ansung's brassware. <laughs> He looks very serious as he creates these works of art. It is definitely not an easy job. Depending on the manufacturing techniques, brassware can be made by forging, casting, or half forging. Master Kim Soo Young uses the casting method where molten metal is poured into a mold. Forged brassware is made by heating brass alloys, which are then shaped by repeated hammering. Cast brassware is made by pouring molten metal into a mold. Since the master makes cast brassware, he owns many molds, which tell us of how he has lived his life. Following in the footsteps of his father Kim Gun Su. Master Kim Soo Young was designated as the Master of Brassware, Important Intangible Cultural Asset Number 77, on August 5, 2008. Becoming a master was a natural step for him in continuing the family business. <laughs> The brassware molds tell us of the 70 years that began from the days of his father and continued on to the master. A brassware with a unique pattern stands out in particular. These are relics that were used to carry out ceremonial rites for 600 years. 
They have begun to restore the wares used in ancestral rites at the royal tombs of the Chosun dynasty. This project is not just a matter of simply restoring cultural assets. They are making the wares that will actually be used in ancestral rites. At the very center of this project is Master Kim Soo Young. His talent is now being used to decorate a piece of history. <laughs> Over 80 wares are used for a single ancestral rite, and there are many different types. Ancestral rite wares have been used throughout the history of Chosun, from King Tejo to King Sunjong. The restoration process is not easy. The 이걸 이제 다시 우리라고 그러는데요. 요거 요거를 만들기 위해서 이렇게는 주물이 안 나오거든요. 그래서 주물로 이렇게 핀 상태로 이제 주물을 해가지고 요거를 가공해가지고 이렇게 동그랗게 마는 거예요. 시간이 퍽 걸리죠. 그리고 이게 저기 학금이 잘안 맞으면 이렇게 동그랗게 마러지지가 않아요. Production only begins after thorough historical research, and despite all the time that has passed, they are still made in the traditional way. For example, since seawater was used in the past, diluted salt water or pine powder is used today. After sprinkling some pine powder, sifted soil is placed into the mold. Ansung became famous because of the abundant amount of silt found in the nearby Asan Bay, which is used to make cast brassware. The particles are so fine that intricate pieces could be made. 여기서는 캐토라고 그러죠. 민물하고 썰물, 썰물하고 그 간만에 차로 해가지고 흙이 입자가 아주 고운 거. 그래서 이게 샘물을 주입하면 무늬도 이제 깨끗하게 입자가 고우니까 문양 같은 것도 깨끗하게 잘 찍히고 또 이렇게 저기 샘물 주입했을 때 깨스도 잘 빨아들이고. Master Kim Soo Young holds fast to the traditions without taking any shortcuts. That afternoon, Master Kim stops what he is doing and rushes off somewhere. There has been an accident at the workshop. <laughs> <laughs> 